Justin, I'm so excited I might explode. Don't do that. There's a new TTRPG setting on Kickstarter, and it might just be the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's called The Wandering Tavern. The Wandering Tavern, you say? Buckle up. The Wandering Tavern is a 150-plus page floating TTRPG setting inspired by Studio Ghibli. Whoa. It's a floating city? Oh yeah, but it's way more than that. This system agnostic setting includes optional 5e stats, and it's packed full of expansive battle maps, plot hooks, new NPCs, plug-and-play zephyrs, and ghostly spirits. I mean, just imagine if we'd have had this for our airships campaign. Looks like it also includes recipes, magic items, and illicit goods and substances. Yep, and it's 100% human-made. No AI involved. It was made by a father and son team called Homie and the Dude. We need to back this on Kickstarter. By the way, all backer tiers get a 3D printable miniature of the Wandering Tavern itself. We gotta tell our viewers. We just did. Explore the vast world of the Wandering Tavern. Click the link in the description to back this project on Kickstarter today. Tell them man short sent ya. Man shorts. Hello, players. Since spring is upon us and we're in our 30s, I figured it was about time we tried gardening. Oh, yeah, great. This will probably be the one time I'm good at killing things. Oh, come on. How hard could it be? What do y'all want to grow? I would like to plant a pollinator garden. I'll do a veggie garden. I guess I'll do some citrus trees. That seems easy enough. Okay, first you'll need to purchase the seeds or plants. You arrive at the gardening center of your local home improvement store. Give me search checks. 15, 12, 21. You're able to find what you came for. Waylon, as you're looking at seeds, an old man approaches and says, Getting a late start, are ya? What do you mean? Seeds should be sprouting already. Be best if you did starters instead. Follow me. I got an 18 on a sense motive check. Is this guy cool? I mean, he's not cool, but he seems truthful and genuinely happy to help a less experienced person with a hobby he loves. Okay, I guess I'll follow him, but I don't trust him. He's an old man. So is 90% of Congress. Don't remind me. Justin, where are you? I'm in the native to Florida section. I've decided to go completely yardless and only plant flowers that are native to my area. You do realize that's going to be a lot of work. But think of the payoff. No more mowing, no more fertilizer, just an eco-friendly yard. What plants do you want to get? I'm grabbing lantana, milkweed, firebrush, and some hibiscus. Off to a great start. Lance, how you doing? They want $75 for a lemon tree. I mean, I, and that's not even a tree. It's like a foot tall. Citrus trees take a long time to grow and produce fruit. I have a lime tree that hasn't produced in four years. A lime tree? Why would you waste all that time for limes? You could just go to the store and buy limes. You were going to buy a lemon tree. Lemons are a staple. Besides, if you bought citrus at the store, you'd miss out on the joy of watching it grow. Hmm. Think I'm good. Gardening isn't for everyone. Waylon? Okay, this guy is awesome. He wrote out a step-by-step -step guide for me to follow. Sounds like a nice guy. Yep. I'm going to head home and get to planting. You all arrive back at your homes? Waylon, are you planting in ground or in a raised bed? Jack said to plant in the ground. It's better for the plants. Uh, I guess I'll start tilling. All right. Give me a strength check. 18. You managed to till up a patch of your yard, roughly 12 by 20 feet. Lance, what are you doing? I stopped by Publix on the way home and bought a lemon. So I'm going to cut that in half and throw it in a hole. You are successful in planting the lemon. Sweet. I am going to go play Dragon's Dogma 2. Or Princess Peach Showtime. Oh god, or that Ronin game. Um... Justin? I'm degrassing my yard. What method are you using? Uh, I'm just using a shovel to loosen it and pull it up. <laughs> Give me a strength check and a con save. Twelve to strength and seven to con. You've removed a five by five section of your yard and you're already exhausted and mentally defeated. Why do people do this to themselves? I'm just gonna take a break. I'll come back tomorrow. No, you won't. How's it going? All right, I got all the plants in the ground, so now I just have to recite this incantation and I'll be done. Incantation? It's just something Jack said to do. Uh, sprout and thrive, greens alive, vegetables rise to the skies. This guy's name was Jack, you say? Good old Jack. Did he have a last name? Yeah, I think it was like Dutch or something. It was like Ander Beanstalk. <sighs> Roll a percentile. 
46. A giant beanstalk shoots out of the ground and immediately grows up into the clouds. Whoa. Huh? Jack appears as if from nowhere and begins climbing it. Thanks, Waylon. I'll get that giant this time. Lance? What? Oh, yeah. Um, I kind of forgot we were playing. Give me a care about your garden check. 22. Somehow, even though you did the bare minimum, the lemon has sprouted. Wow. Really? That's kind of cool. Huh. I can see why people do this now. It's kind of gratifying. I'm going to give it some water. And it's dead. So does this mean the key to gardening is neglect? Sometimes. Justin, did you ever finish ripping up the grass? Oh, I changed my mind. You know, grass is just, it's so easy to maintain, and, and really, it looks great. So, I think I'm just going to leave it all the way it is. What about all the plants you bought? Oh, yeah, those. I'll just uh, leave on my front porch and keep forgetting about them and not water them, and then they just die and shrivel up. Uh-huh. Then I'll just throw them away and forget this whole thing happened. Maybe that's for the best. Till I try again in a few years with similar or worse results. Seems like you've mastered gardening. Waylon, there's a battle taking place at the top of the beanstalk between Jack and a hill giant. Hey, maybe we should help him. <laughs> and get crushed by a dead giant? Yeah, thanks but no thanks. What do you want to do? I think I'm just going to cut it down. I don't need that kind of drama. Okay, roll a strength check. 25. Lance and I are going to help. 24. 11. The three of you make short work of the stock. And as it falls, you hear Jack and the giant screaming off in the distance. Thanks, guys. Well, if we get grow plants, we should at least be able to cut them down. As you're packing up and leaving, you happen to notice a single green bean has grown. Well, would you look at that? I guess gardening isn't so bad after all. And at least you know where your dinner's coming from. Yeah, a mutated bean stalk. This gives me an idea. See you next week. And go. Oh. Talk about Wait, what are we doing? Kind of your local home improvement store. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Citrus trees. I didn't even wear this shirt on purpose. I didn't read the script before I got here, and it's orange. Yeah. It's perfect. I've decided to go completely yardless and plant only Florida's flowers. <laughs> It's in there. <laughs> okay, this guy is awesome. He like wrote out a step-by-step -step guide for me to follow. <laughs> Alright, I know when we're recording this and I know when this video comes out, so let's go! Bailey won last night! Yeah! That might be completely wrong, but I'm gonna be stoked if Bailey wins. Although that's probably a thing that happens. Maybe. Particularly in the South, people do that kind of stuff. Hey, let me interject in your life. <laughs> I'm only gonna plant flowers that are native to Florida. Is that right? There we go. Oh, we got a possum. <laughs> we got a rogue possum. So Southern. Oh, no, he's got him. I guess I need some of these. Some of these. Man Shorts Dice. <laughs> some of these brand new Man Shorts Dice. Or do You know that over at crackandice.com, you can get yourself a set of Man Shorts Part Do Dice. You can also get yourself a pair of the Sarah Dice. And as of this week, you can get yourself a pair of the other dice set. A set of the other dice? I don't know where they are. I guess I'll do... Oh, I should be looking at my sheet. Oh, come on. How hard could it... How? I've decided to go completely... <laughs> <laughs> What's a possum even doing? What? what kind of possum even walks around at this time of day? <laughs> be like, excuse me, sir. Do you know what time it is? Aren't you guys nocturnal? A lime tree? Why would you... What? But think of the payoff. <laughs> and it's dead. <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> Got it. Do one more, I guess, where I actually say it right. So what you want to do? Remember those guys? No. What do you mean? What is that from? In the Jungle Book? Uh, no. The vultures at the end? Oh, okay. So what you want to do? They're supposed to be like the beetles or the yeah. monkeys? So I guess I'll get to get get to killing. <laughs> <laughs> killing that grass. <laughs> yeah. I got double sevens. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to look up. Lance and I are going to help. 24... I don't know when I was... <laughs> I always expect someone in the comments to be like, that's the soundtrack from Use or whatever Whenever when I do these jokes. Yeah. That actually didn't get as much radio play as 3 a.m. That was the one that was we'll like, 3 it's 3 a.m., I must be lonely. Uh, yeah. That was the one that was on the radio all the time. Right. The same band? Yeah, dude. Matchbox? Matchbox 20. Okay. And then the real world, 
Straight up, what would uh, you yeah. hope to learn about here? Okay. D&D <laughs> &D, every day. D&D &D, every day. D&D &D, every day. D&D &D, every day. Stat blocks every day. Drop rocks every day. D&D &D, every day. Every day. They call me the DM. I bring the pain from AM to PM. I am the pain. Consider been changing the name of my BBEG to see the yo they can't even see him. Two DPKs, the DM. Independent PC museum. If you don't follow my Coliseum, I'm murking you all of my mausoleum. This is a murderous game. Imagination be putting Timmy Turner to shame. It's the return of the flame, and it's still burning the same. Better be learning my name. It's that Y A H Z I C K. That spells tongue. Low vibration, high strung. Looking at the top of the ladder from the bottom rung, unsung. D and D. Every day, 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 stat blocks. Every day, drop rocks. Every day, D and D. Every day, every day, 